The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling a problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials flat. NASDAQ is down four. SP is also flat. Gold contract up $1.80, trading at $14.14 an ounce. We got silver up $0.12, cents, $15.28 an ounce. Light sweet crude. $60.11 a barrel. Notes and bonds, they just want higher price, lower yield. 10 year up uh, three ticks, 127.06. 30 up 10 at 154.01. King dollar, king dollar up uh, 86 ticks, trade 96.515. Euros at 112. The yen is at 107.86. And the pound is out here at 125 to 1 US dollar. What's happening, man? Welcome back, man. Thank you. Yeah, good to be back. You missed some all-time highs. I. But guess what? They they opened at all-time highs. I think. Yeah. Um, but a little bit of sell-off, and we didn't. How about we'll get to it? But Bitcoin, man, do you see that run down fifteen hundred bucks at uh, ten Ooh. ten thousand five hundred? The, the volatility continues. Um, there's a presidential tweet. I think on Friday, maybe it was Friday night, Saturday morning, uh, sometime from Trump. And he was going to come after those cryptos. Oh, this is mad. They, they are not going to let <laughs> Yeah, and Facebook, Powell, Powell didn't help that, of yeah, course, right? They're not um, going to let Facebook take over the, the money business. No, that's, no. You know, but, and they but shouldn't. They, they shouldn't. Yeah. No, I, that's, that's the last sure. thing any of us want. No, no, totally. Yeah. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. And, you know, you had the Fed last week. Let's go right to the bonds because these notes and bonds, folks, okay, bottom line, they, you know, not only want higher price, low yield, now, fundamentally, you got the deal behind it also. I mean, you know, the 10-year, the come back to the breakout area of this uh, June 1st, had light volume, and guess what? You know, these things still want higher price. It's uh, going to be wild watching this whole thing shake out. We got the 10-year right now, uh, 2.09 yeah. yielding. Now... That's well. Let's go through Amazon. We were just talking. You can't help, right? Before the before we came on, I'm telling you about the deals. It's Prime Day. We'll give them some free advertising. Maybe they should send us some free Amazon bucks, they, man. They they it's definitely as good as cash almost. They get so <laughs> it really much is. free advertising. It's unbelievable. And let's pull up. So I was I was pulling up. Um, so to give you an idea, right about and I I've been saying it last year. So this is an article from last year. As in, they sold 100 million products. Oh, this, this is last year. This is July 18th, 2018. Oh, my God. And they had a link to this on CNBC in one of their stories okay. saying they sold 100 million products last year. And this is kind of what I'm saying. You know, they, it's what an opportunity for press releases, for promotion. Um, I don't know. What are they going to sell this year? It seems like right. they've gone gangbusters, and now they have two days um, right. to do all this action. But, yeah, incredible deals going on there, man. I was showing you, man, people need a TV. Seriously, one of these deals on the front page will give them some free. 43-inch. Um, 4K TV, Toshiba, 189 bucks. That's crazy. I know. It is crazy. Uh, I know this is one of the ones With that, free shipping. Yeah. Yeah. You got to be a Prime member, right? But uh, yeah. a majority are. I mean, just uh, many others. And I saw a hint out there. I told you this morning. Right. So only 40 hours left of Prime Day, folks. Okay. Get out. <laughs> right. um, if you see some of these lightning deals they have. Yeah, this is important to understand, You can folks. add it to your cart. Yeah. And you have 15 minutes to purchase it once it's in your cart. Where are these lightning deals? They're down here. They pop up. There they are. And if they're on your mobile, you can see this one ends in five hours. Some of these sell out in like a few seconds. Okay. Um, right. A few minutes. Yeah. So I, I didn't know that. You know, if you and want they anything. Keep, they keep popping them up all day. Yeah, right? they do. They're, they're a running total of, of things coming up. And I think you can see even which ones are coming down the line in terms of like this one's oh, opening up in seven minutes. Cool. Um, so, so, but that was a cool tip. As in, you can yeah. add it to your your cart, and you got 15 minutes um, to decide whether you want it. Yeah, that is no doubt a yeah. pretty cool video. So we'll see, man. It's remarkable. Even like, can we pull this back a little bit? Because I was checking it out. If you put it like, let's put it on even a two year, because that way we'll encompass last year's. So you get back. Where's last year? Pretty remarkable, right? That I mean, what a run it had up there. I remember. And I think that little volatility there. I think that's some prime day volatility when it was jumping up. I remember it was at all time highs last okay. year. Just keep that in mind, as in you were at all-time highs last year. Check out that run. 100 million products sold. The market was listening. You got two days this year. 
you're right up near those highs. I think we were at 2030 last uh, week at one point. I mean, look at that run it's had just since, I know. since May 31st. Big well, prices, man. 1700 25%, right? Yeah, 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 20%, right. I don't know. I know. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities. Well, it, it, let's go to the S&P first, because the, what the S&P did, folks, now the S&P has been in an ABC structure on the way up. The, the SPY, the, the, it's a 303, one of them. But what happened when I was on vacation last week, it did an additional one. It did another ABC inside the ABC. Okay. We took off on, the, what was that? That was probably Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, it was Wednesday. He did 58 million, taking out 40. So okay. you got another small one. And Looks like is, that's almost done. I, the small one, at least. Yeah, wherever, so yeah. that's, let's see. So that's, that's, that's 298, right? Yeah, 298.80. And then 290. Okay, wait, so, wait, wait what is it? Yeah, yep, yep. So you, eight bucks. Eight bucks gets you... Uh, okay, 303. Now, this is what's 303, cool. 303, 304. At 303 and 304, that's the larger one, too. Okay. So the probability is really... And much where's, better. Where's the B and C real the quick on that one? The larger one goes here. That's, the larger one. That's the B? That's the B, okay. which is 291.40. Yep. Down to 273. Okay. So uh, what's that? 18. 291, did you say? 18? Yep, yep, 18. Okay. And then... Yeah, 290, uh, 305. So yeah. from 287, yeah, yeah, the 18. So isn't that cool? Yeah. I mean, so that's where that's the larger portion, folks. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> somehow we're gonna crawl all the way, all the way up there. We'll so. see, man. We I, I say is, and we start with earnings, right? You see, Citibank this morning. Yeah. So they came in with good numbers. They had an IPO as part of that revenue, and maybe the market's saying if you take out that IPO, maybe the numbers weren't quite there, because um, they beat on revenue. Okay. They beat on earnings per share, and uh, they were higher pre-market. And then things kind of sold off pretty quickly on the open. Yeah. So, and you know, it, it's, what, what is interesting about Citigroup, but this is where Citigroup's one of the banks that never got its mojo back, which is pretty wild. I mean, look at this. Citigroup. Yeah, reverse split, right? Something. 555 bucks and 27. Now, they weren't trading at five something, right? That's a no, reverse that's split. No, that's reverse. I just thought so. No, but still, it matters, right? As in, yeah. they're, they're only at 70 in correlation. Yeah. If they were trading at 100, they'd right. only be at. 15. Right. Yeah, what's right. the difference? Now we'll put JP Morgan up. Yeah. At highs. Yeah. Can you go back to City for a second? No. Uh, what was the their low? Cause, I mean, City was almost going to go bankrupt, though, yes. right? I mean, yeah. that's well, what, so they almost. When you look at that chart, they would have been bankrupt, right. except that. You know, the government bailed them out. Right. There's a, you know. And I just wanted to see what the lows were. Pure here. socialism, you know how that works? Well, I, <laughs> uh, there's a mix of capitalism and socialism in almost everything we do. Uh, $9.70. So it's still yeah. a seven-bagger from the days that they thought they were going to go bankrupt. And right. even, you know, that number was, it, it took a while. As in, you're, you're only sitting, you know, two years later at 23. You're still sitting at, what are we here? 24, right? So it's been a slow, steady climb. I mean, the problem is that, the, the world figured out from May of 07 to March of 09 that this company was basically worthless yes. in between that time frame. Right, yeah. right. And it's paying a 2.5% yeah. yield. Versus JP Morgan, nobody was figuring that out. They were going to be okay, thankfully. Uh, and they did benefit from some of that. Oh, yeah. You know, the whole system getting bailed out, they benefited because they would have suffered along oh. with the rest of us. But of they it, were yeah. in a lot better shape. Um, they would have they would have survived in some form, yeah. unlike yeah. City. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the uh, Dow Industrials uh, down 20, NASDAQ off 6. S&P's a flat. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
The TAS Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of TAS Market Profile, the TAS Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $197 a month with the risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Folks, uh, Dow, Dow right now uh, up six, Nasdaq uh, down six, rather. Dow, uh, Nas Nasdaq flat, S and P's up one. Now, last week, uh, this was pretty wild. I forget what day it is. I can pull it up here though. That the Dow took off like a rocket ship, and the rest of the indices were just flat. It was Wednesday or Thursday. Okay. It correlated to the day that the Trump administration said they were not going to deal a blow to the health stocks right um because yes. unh took that's off right. gangbusters that's right yes um and i know yeah. goldman sachs was up huge that day as well and you had boeing look at that yeah yeah um so i think it was look, that, thursday yeah that was the 11th yeah, yeah. and UNH. you also had walgreens um boots which is in the dow yeah where basil and i were looking at it in the morning and right. so you had a Rocket few ship. of those really yeah and you could see that three or four of the stocks were and they were all stocks like this, where they were 250 260 dollars. So the price weighting of yep. a run like that—I mean, look at that day alone, right? What is the low to high? Forty-nine. Yeah, to, twelve bucks. Yeah. Price weighted in the Dow. That's a mammoth move. No doubt. Yeah. Uh, Boeing. So Boeing out here. Speaking of price yeah. weighted mammoths, you know, and look at just before you—I mean, that's look at that run Thursday and Friday. Same yeah. thing. Huge on that Dow. Yeah. So Boeing this morning. What they're looking at now. This is going to be a long road. 2020 for the max, 2020. right? 2020. In yeah. 2020, they'll be saying late 2020. Then, no, they'll, then, they'll say, then they'll say, guess what? We're going to rename the, the Max. It's never coming back. And yeah, we'll have a new... Uh, it's going to be renamed. Yeah, yeah. it's got to. Yeah, it's got to be, yeah. The marketing people are going to be licking their chops because they need a little PR and marketing in this instance oh, yeah. in a big way. Oh, yeah. So American Airlines said it would keep the jets off uh, schedule through November 2nd, the fifth time the airline has adjusted its flights. They'll just keep pushing them forward. Man. Yeah. Um, yeah, and Maybe. you can see it's only July 15th right now, so oh. what are they doing? They're planning about four months, three and a half to four months in advance. They like to have that schedule hardcore right. probably in concrete right. set. And right. uh, you can see that 
that's just that's just like what they can do as and to keep it as fresh. I bet in their minds they're saying, okay, and then by this date we need to push it back to December Probably. if it's not ready by this date, et cetera. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. So semantic S Y M C. This is uh, with with. So this was a takeover of talks with uh, Broadcom. Okay. Uh, they CNBC saying it's that the. The talks have stopped. I guess so. If you, want, if you want to see something, just comes back to the gap. I mean, this is yeah. You know that quick. that information's gone. Well, we're back to where we were before yeah. that. That value was added to the to the equation. Exactly. Yeah. You know, so you <laughs> that can, was a quick comeback, though, isn't it? And that's why you see when you see those takeovers, right? Like, so let's say they were saying, oh, we're going to buy it at like 30 or something. Yeah, that was the price. Okay, yeah. well, then the market's priced in. Like, all right, there's a 60% chance it's going to buy at 30, so we'll trade it at 26. Well, right. that goes out the window. We're back to 22, right? right. Yeah. Quick. Oh. Quick. How Bye. about Facebook, right? FB. Not bad. You pay $5 billion. The market says, we oh, like we like it. We're uh, trading higher, oh, I baby. I wanted to see this anyway. Yeah. <laughs> this, I, I, uh, let's see, revenue. Yeah. This is going to be pocket change, right? Oh, look at this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pure yeah. pocket change. This year alone, that's, uh, you know, basically, oh, I was, I was looking, last year alone, that's almost one month of revenue. Um, next year, it's 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 nothing, right. man. This year, it's less than one month of revenue. And what you want to remember, folks, is that that's a write-off for them, too. The, what ends up happening is that that's a business expense. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Now, what, what the, all the, the stuff I've read so far, normally when a, a rate, a regular fines are fine as a write-off, unless there's been a couple of fines that they have done, right, that they specifically put in that you can't write off. Sure. Okay, but that it was none of the literature I've seen so far. Do you okay. know what I mean? Yeah. So, and that's a big deal, too. Oh, it's because, a big deal. That's, because, yeah, that you know, adds let's to... Let's say they're in a 30% bracket, I mean, bracket, you know? No, I'm not going to say Facebook's in the 30% bracket, as in they're not paying 30%. They might be, but do you, oh, you but see what I'm saying? Legitimately, they probably are, but they're not paying it. I understand yeah, that, yeah, just... you know, but, but, but they will be able to write that much off if legitimately that's what they are paying. Yeah. The, it, until it comes down to the bottom line. They're going to keep throwing everything else in, but, you know, bottom yeah. line is that it's nothing. Right. Of, that, that is the bottom line. Yeah. And that's what the market knows, which right. is why on Friday you saw it pop. Um, I mean, we can zoom it in yeah. after you do the long term, but you'll see. I think it came out with like 10 minutes left to go in the day Friday. Um, yeah. <laughs> and the market said, you know, whoop de doo we can put it behind us. We knew it was going to be at least $3 billion, which yeah. is what Facebook allocated last oh, earnings. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so Facebook already told the market, best case scenario, this is going to be $3 billion. It came in at five. Um, what I haven't seen a lot of reporting yet, which I'd love to see the insight in, is that the FTC has three Republicans, two Democrats, and right. it was a partisan vote, three to two. Yeah. I want to know why the two wanted, uh, what did they want? They want more? They want, why, how did that come down partisan? Um, I would just be curious, yeah. you know? Right. No, I'm with you. There's no, there's no doubt. Because uh, uh, obviously there was some dissent in there as to maybe wanting more and maybe wanting to add some stipulation regulations, which right. is normally a Republican-Democrat uh, right. regulations, right. as in trying to add something to prevent that type of thing further. Um, but Facebook, market they're, liked it, man. They're on the loose. Printing cash. Well, yet again, government off their back for this issue so yeah, far. Yeah, exactly. Next. So, gold, let's go take a look at gold, folks. Bottom line is that... You missed uh, a little volatility last week oh, in this conference. Cool. Look at that chart, man. It was cool. There's no doubt, man. You know, I mean, the bottom line is that this is hanging tough up here. Yeah. You know? uh, and you, you get some good juice. You know, that that pop on uh, Thursday was nice. Wednesday was cool. You know, so... <laughs> I bet it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know... It was up 30 bucks. Yeah. And, you know, what you're going to see... These rates, it was really, I think, happening to the marketplace as well as, meaning the S&P as well as, as anything that has to do with interest rates in general, is that the, these rates are really going to keep going lower. And it's like, okay, man, if these rates keep going lower, um, you know. I just, we, we got a 20-point jump from 1.93 in the 10-year to 2.13. Oh, right. So we just say keep right. going lower. You know, I'm just, we're, we, we just got almost a quarter point bounce in the 10-year. Just to bring everybody to where we've been, you know, as in we're at a critical point. If we're going to keep going lower, we can't go up a half a point in that in that keep going lower process. Is what I'm, you know. I mean, this is yes. I, 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 no, I if you listen to that keep going lower, you wouldn't know it just raised a quarter basis point in five days at from from 1.93 to 2.13. You know, I mean, that's that's you substantive. Know, but that is. we do need pullbacks. That's you know, I, like you know, if we if we but go, this if would we, be the point. We, that's all. Bring I'm, this back to. 
Well, I'll do it the other way. Let's go 10 year. So we take a look at this 10 year. And we look at it, especially just look at it this way. So 2.6 in June 17th, no, April 17th, right? Times it. Oh, sure. 1.9. Yeah. yeah. And then you do the bounce. So yeah. You, you need a bounce. Oh, yeah. No, you know, no, I hear you. lower prices, so. Yeah. This is just a critical point, you know, as in. Oh, yeah. No, listen, there's no doubt, man. Yeah. You know. Because that's, I, I, that's I brought, a decent brought, pop percentage-wise. I brought Larry wise. back a couple more life jackets. I heard, I heard him out here. <laughs> Bring us with you. What do you, what well, do you Larry, I always forget myself Larry even when you guys. I, always I know joke. you got. But bring him, bring him Larry with and you. I always right. joke, folks. Okay, when I, he doesn't like boats that much, and he, I've taken him and his wife out a, a few times, and so what happens in the bond market is that my take was that we're going lower. Well, his take was that we're not. You're going to lower I, yields. Right? Yeah, gonna... and so what had happened is that... Uh, That's friendly wager. Yeah, friendly wager. <laughs> as the, the, he's got to come out in the boat, and he needs the life jackets. So, uh, Get him those jackets, jackets, baby. Sailing time, lower rates. Time. Hey, I want, I want a 1.5, 10-year man. Bring it on. Seriously. Bring it on. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. You have the Dow Industrials right now. Flat NASDAQ is up two. S&P's up one and a half. We'll come right back. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Nasdaq uh, up 14, Dow up 17, S&P's up two and a half. It's going to claw its way back as we are deep into summer trading right now. Yeah. So let's take a look at some of the movers inside the Dow Industrials. So Apple um, putting 12 positive points, Caterpillar 10, United Health 9, taken away from it. Boeing's the big one there, minus 33. Goldman's minus 15. Uh, the, what, you, what you do have uh, is that, let me just see if, uh, I think Morgan Stanley was involved in one of these. The, the big banks just really did lose a lot of money. Uh, here it is here, uh, because they were expecting Morgan, J.P. Morgan uh, Chase and Morgan Stanley lost out on their cut of what would have been the year's biggest initial public offering last week. The two top advisors to Anheuser-Busch, InBev's Asian Pacific Unit IPO would have split up to 140 to 170 million in fees. Can you imagine that? Okay. What happened is that the Budweiser folks was spinning off their Asian unit, and they've been working on this like a year. And okay. it's going to be a big deal. And what ended up happening is that in between it is that the market, the, the, this is a situation. So picture, if you and I are the banks, we go out to all our clients. Yes. We say, okay, how much are you going to pay for it? We first ginned up. What happened is that, MBEV went out to the banks and says, okay, give us a proposal. Yep. Evidently, you know, these two banks won it. And when you win it, you give them an estimate of how much you think you can sell it sure, for. Sure, sure. Okay? Yep. Well, what ends up happening in between when they started okay. the deal, which is over a year ago, to it was so it's ago last week, is that bottom line is that they couldn't raise the money because things have changed so dramatically okay. inside of the bear market in and, general. And it looks know? like they were looking at about $9.8 billion. Yeah. And so they were going to get about 2% of the money raised, which would correlate to like $170 million. $200 million would be 2% yeah. of $10 billion. Right. Um, and I'm guessing that they weren't going to get that number, and the people at uh, InBev were not happy, right? They Is pulled that what, it. Yeah, yeah, they pulled it. And what has happened, what, what, what has happened and it's happening That's very quickly, yeah. folks, is that the, the world in general is getting into craft beers, and that's what happened in China. Okay. Uh, what, they, what they're saying is that it went so quick going from, you know, the normal give me the bud, give yes. me whatever they are, to individual cities, craft okay. places open in a big way, and, you know, the investor community just said, no, yeah. I'm not going to pay that. They weren't going to price that. Right, yeah. because the yeah. competition, I'm sure, yeah. The competition yeah. is and very that's a, So, yeah, they were looking from 8.3 to 9.8. That would have put the value at $64 billion for just that. Um, and guess what? It's no. not $64 billion, I guess, is no. what, uh, is what no. it is anymore. Yeah, and you have, here's the quote, that uh, they failed to properly price, attract cornerstone investors, and drum up demand. Um, one of the analysts noted right. his climates. You know, in, when, you, when you're talking about this business, this gets interesting. So, the uh, remember we were at Eddie's party? And what were the, the fuzzy drinks that people were drinking? Uh, there's all the flavored, um, um, hard, sparkling right. drinks. Okay. Yeah, I forget what so, the, the one we were, but they're very in vogue right now. Oh, yeah. they're huge. Yes, right. So listen to this. This is, we just came back to the vineyard, and then we were trying to get some in some liquor store, right? The whole liquor store sell out. The guy saying, right, he says, I'm telling you, he says, I've never seen anything like that in my life. Yeah. He says, we get them in, they're gone in a second. Then in the journal today, folks, if you open the journal today, yeah. the second section, the f this thing is going explosive. Yeah, no, it's summer, especially when we're in Florida, right, you're out in yeah. the sun. We were at a pool party, pool beach yeah. party, pool right. birthday party. Right. Um, perfect for sparkling, basically, soda water, flavored, yeah. flavored, not hard, strong, right? flavored just, hard soda water. Okay, yeah, you, yeah. One, you know, one drink probably has the alcohol content of a normal beer, wine, etc. cetera, okay. Um, okay. Is, is the deal. But yeah, they're, they're all the rage. Uh, yeah. And they're all competing for similar amounts of pieces of the pie. Oh, for right? sure, you know, Because sure. that used to be, you're at a pool party, oh, that's beers flying around, right? For sure. Yeah, or, or maybe some... Ah, uh, Zemars, you know, right? I mean, yeah. that's, uh, they're all part no, of the pie, isn't it? Yeah. You're fighting for, no, look at it, and there, 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 there's our studio saying Zima, exactly. And what was Zima? I that's think. a malt liquor. Um, okay. It was a clear bottle, yeah, right. um, and this is probably somewhat similar. I don't yeah. know. I haven't had them, but I'm sure they're, I'm I sure they're pretty them. good. I, I, don't, I don't particularly like them, but I can see why people do, because yeah. they are refreshing. Yeah. They're, you know, yeah. it's like drinking if, soda water. Right. right? Yeah. You know, if you like a vodka soda, it's probably not the same, but it's yeah. of that variety versus yeah. a beer. Right. Um, right. Beer's very filling, I think, is where you right. get the difference there. Right. Um, yeah. Pretty wild. Pretty wild. 
877-927-6648. Jack, Jack, uh, oh, Common Jack. Tastes like a margarita. Yeah, see, this got to be a whole loose spin. So there goes their IPO. Yeah. Could you imagine you sitting there like, oh, no, the fizz oh, no, took right. me out. Yeah. <laughs> it's remarkable the fees that they can pull 2% of their, you know, you think you build up this company, it's worth $64 billion, you're going to raise $10 billion, and they're like, if you want to go to market, we need... Two percent of whatever you raise. Right. It's like a mammoth number. Right. Mammoth. That's right. Yeah. And so, just this is pretty cool that you're bringing this up. So the way that it works also is that a bank or a broker dealer can get up to five percent. You know. Oh. You, you can't get over five. Do is you know that, that the deal? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's five percent. You can't get over. But. Give me a break. I mean, two percent of that monster number is a monster number. Mammoth, yeah. You know, and now and if that was a while ago, I feel like regulations have been relaxed. As in, who knows yeah. if that got cleaned house by. And by the way, that that two percent, they're still going to get their fee, their expenses. Sure, that has to sure. do with fees. Sure, That's, sure. You know, you, you, you yeah. get your they expenses. They weren't working for free probably for no. two years, right, no. or a year, or no. whatever it they, is, right? They're going to have to pay up as they pull. Yeah, up. but mammoth difference, right? There might be some small. Oh, expenses yeah. versus the big yeah. monies when they go public. Oh, and that's the chunk. That's right, the that's chunk right. right down there. And then yeah. on top of that, what normally ends up happening is that, um, let's say if we gave someone the allocation of 100 million shares or something, sure. you normally have another allocation on top of that that you can get of if it's 100 million, maybe another 7 million shares on top of that. So if you get a pop, yeah. then... You, you, you you're can a be good, part of You're the, a good client. Right. You're given, you right. know, it's, it's that's a, big a perk. Deal. That's it's worth some value. Oh, huge. Yeah. Huge. Sure. No doubt. 877 927 6648. Now, real gold, folks, okay? If you're in that gold market, let me tell you something. This is, it not only broke out last week, but what you have here, it's getting away from its breakout area, which is just one beautiful thing. So your breakout area is $100.84. You're at a buck ten. Going back to two twelve. Yep, it's a it's a big number because this is it has been for a long period of time one of the leading stocks. It's you know a streaming stock, meaning that they just make money in the gross the royalties. Royalty, and so in the gross of what they sell the gold for, meaning okay. the companies that they back. Yeah, they have like agreements of people pulling gold out of their ground, and they say, we get this X dollars per this price of gold, so as gold goes up, their value goes straight they, to the price of gold. Straight right? to the price of gold. And that's normally an indication, FNV, uh, also that, that the gold price itself is going to continue higher. Uh, Franco Nevada. I want to see Franco Nevada catch the bid too. Uh, you know they're 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 close. They're right at their highs. That's uh, 8606. Now they they broke their highs last week. You know, but it, they haven't gotten gotten away from it yet. Yeah, yeah. It has to get away from that level. You get away from that area. Guess what, man? That's saying that the contract itself is going to get up to the next level. And if you look at this continuous contract, you know we only need about we need about. A good ten to fifteen dollars more in the contract to launch the whole deal. Okay. Four, Fourteen twenty-eight on the continuous. Yeah, and that's a six-year consolidation. I know, right? Yeah, yeah. it's 14, a big number. Fourteen twenty-two is that month, yeah. and then we're up to fourteen eighty-seven in May of thirteen. Yeah, and before that, sixteen oh two. Yeah, you launched that baby, and you know, yep. bottom line. Seventeen ninety four. Seventeen ninety four. And you know, when you put that together with rates coming down, it's like, okay, yeah, it's, yeah, it's doable. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow up four Nasdaq flat. S and P's up one. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow right now down eight. Nasdaq is flat. S and P's uh, also flat. Let's go over that oil market. So, what's been happening inside this oil business? A little uh, bit of volatility, but kind of holding steady right around that sixty dollar price point. Yeah. So let's see what we got here. You got sixty thirty seven. And a little bit of a sell off this morning, pretty quick. Um, yeah, I heard that when you were doing the news. Yeah, update, it, was, it was up at sixty one um, almost. Yeah, and see, this is that vol it's volume dying on the vine right there, man. Let me just see. Is this the most active? August should be. We saw the EIA last week. I recall okay. had a nine plus million barrel draw. So Did higher it? prices, right? The expectation was at around three million barrels. Okay. So quite a miss again in terms of draw, less oil, higher prices. So that kind of propelling that from about fifty-seven, fifty-eight dollars, middle of the week. You see that big yeah, pop there. I think that is Wednesday on that chart. Yeah. Um so quite a little pop. Yeah, so we're in the right contract. So this, uh, yeah, 60.53. Yeah. 60.53 is the number that, uh, and, and you can we're see. we're above that today. Yeah. Yeah, and you can see you're coming right into the the, the big downdrafts there yeah. from, uh, what, the 22nd, 23rd of uh, May. 63 yes. to 61, and then 61 to 57. That was quick. Yeah. Can right. you go IGPO just to yeah. see that quick soft? Because I think it was like 9.15 to almost 10. Yeah, look at that. Um, and zoom it in. There you go. Yeah, look at that sell-off, man. Yeah. Almost made it to 61. We're at 50, 60, 92, and then a heartbeat. Heartbeat. We're at 60.06. 30 minutes later. Yeah, right. And I couldn't. Uh, can we go into the news, or the CN? Because I was trying to find maybe what uh, what happened. Oh, I wonder if that has to do with like in the Gulf that the, those you talk about rain. Um, you know what I mean? As, as to how yeah, many, they, they, the they, potential. You know, the hurricane rolling right. in there for a brief moment. But right. this is at 9.15 in the morning. Like, literally, I was trying to look at, you know, um, seeing. Yeah, there's not too much. As in, it was right at 9.15 that this thing sold off. Um, maybe cracks in OPEC, but that would, I'm not sure. Nothing really in there, you know, just a little bit of a sell off. A big dude sold it. Somebody that's sold it, man. Yeah, that's right. Sold big it out. Dude, dude, that. Somebody yeah, out there. <laughs> that's right. No doubt about that. So let's go uh, into uh, Walmart. So I wonder, you know, so Walmart's going to be scratching his head here, you know, as to 
how are they going to do a prime day? I mean, the child, I think they're at highs anyway. Yeah, yeah they are. Say this. They, they're, they're, they're doing fine. They, 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 yeah. yeah, they've been scratching their head, and they figured out something, man, for sure. Is it your, you, I, think I mean, this, look at that run from the beginning of 16. We're trading at like 55. We're now double bagger from, tw right. from 2016. All-time uh, highs. Yeah. So, Vol, let's see. So they're coming out with all-time high today. Yeah. August 15th is the next time they're coming out with numbers. Okay. <laughs> look at that number. Decent numbers. Wow. They take in a trillion bucks every two years. That is amazing. That yeah. number is amazing. It is. It is. A trillion. It is. Five hundred and twenty-six billion. And in order to keep that up, it's pretty intense. I mean, the one thing that you could say is a little worrisome is what's going on internationally here. You right. know, why aren't they doing business? A company like Walmart that takes in a trillion dollars every two years um, can't grow internationally. Yeah. <laughs> it's minus one percent. Yeah. Looking at this, and right? you know, that's that's. I, there's only so much you can continue to grow in the U.S., I'd say, oh, yeah. when you're talking about the likes of competing with Amazon. Right. and Right. Right. Yeah. No doubt about that. It's like a lot of my friends in our group chat this morning were talking about Amazon, right? We never yeah. have those days about Walmart. You know what I mean? Right. So it's interesting how um, to keep that growth up. they got to do something, man. Um, they got to do something. Yeah, prices. Yeah, they got the prices. There's no doubt about that. Because I've prices. I've done a I was just gonna say I've done a couple of things where you subscribe. I know you, do you do that right? Where you subscribe on Amazon? Do you do that at all? No. Subscribe. So what they'll do is they set up. You can set it up once every three months. They deliver a product. Once every oh, six months. No, once I every two months. Yeah. Um, they're pretty convenient. And well, what you can do is you can see your schedule. You save money. So you save. You'll see it on a lot of links now. Okay. They'll say or subscribe and save five percent. Like order these really? or subscribe and save five percent. Okay. And if you subscribe, you can cancel at any time. Okay. Like any of our newsletters. Sure. Uh, and it'll show you on there and you save. But then if you have like if you set it up where you have three or six items delivered in the same month, well then you save fifteen percent on all, all all the items. Right. That's pretty innovative. You know, if they're oh, things you're already buying, then you start to see, well, geez, they don't even have to be the same price as Walmart. Right. Publix, uh, whatever right. it is, because if I just get my paper towels every six months, my shampoo every six months, my soap, well, boom, 15% right off the top. We're going to turn you out to paper towels right now. Let's bring up those paper towels, because you know it's funny, folks, is that, you know, we, we talk paper towels a lot. With the last time... I mean, you know, I was, what do you we, want to pull up? I, we've never done a bounty. price... We've never no. done a price check on this, though. Oh, I, I know, but it, here, let's bring it up, then, because... What, I, okay. And I'm talking about the boxes that we buy, though. Not the oh these okay yeah, yes this yes, is this yes. is a deal I, yeah. folks okay and if you use paper towels which a lot of us do oh, okay. uh, you, you want to take a look at this because it's it's pretty amazing the yeah. differential um, I got to log in we might have to do it and okay. uh, we might have to I was trying to pull up my orders to okay. because they're gonna give us all these uh, bounties they're the type of paper towels that you find in in. Uh, yeah, see, they're going to give us all of these. Uh, we'll find it at the break, and we'll give okay. it next segment, okay? Because that way we don't... You uh, save a four... Yeah, there it is, right there. No, the no. Pacific... Blue Pacific. No, that's not them. Oh, yeah, but that's they, not they them. make it. No, I'm not. Okay. okay. Yeah. We'll find them. It's... It's big money. Folks. We'll pull it up. Perfect. We'll keep giving Amazon the free plugs. Man. I know. They, we want our Amazon <laughs> gift cards to show up at the TFNN offices. I, well, it's such a deal, man. It yeah. is. No, listen, yeah. that's, you know, you want to... Give people good advice, man. Yeah. That's right. You know, I mean, and there are a lot of great deals. That TV deal, man. If you're looking for a TV, 43 inches, 189 bucks, 4K. I don't have a 4K TV at home. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's just right. amazing. D right. DVR built in there. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Imagine how do you, how can them? They, you got to manufacture it. You got to get it from the manufacturer to one of their Amazon warehouses. You got to get it from the Amazon yeah. warehouse. To your house. Now we'll right. go full. We'll go full circle on this though, because right. this is though a. Do we still have it up here? Let's see. Because this is an Amazon Fire TV. Okay. So, so what happens there, of course, it's, is they should that be giving them away. That's, you buy more that's stuff. what I was gonna say. Now oh. you're you're gonna be in the Amazon Fire, right? You're gonna be within. Um, their wheelhouse. Maybe they get to push notification. Maybe they get to push ads. Maybe they. I think we should send one to Dave White. He'll send it back. Yeah, Cause, yeah. Because he doesn't want them uh, Big Brother on his. Yeah, business. I don't right, blame him, man. Exactly. Because that's what I was going to next. Is that right. um, they eat a lot of smart TVs now? You can these companies can sell at a loss, right? Because the data they get, just like Facebook, yes. they're able to sell that data. They're able to advertise that data. They're able to see everything you do. They're able to market to you. Um, so it's a different profit business plan. It is when you can sell it at a loss and then use that customer to profit from in the long term. Pretty uh, amazing. 
But nonetheless, I mean, you're talking a 50 inch TV, 289 markdown, but yeah, that 43 inch and uh, 4K Ultra HD. Oh, no, look, it's gone. It was 189, 259.99. Perfect. We gave it to him at the beginning of the hour. Wow. I hope somebody got it. There you go. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It was 189 for sure. And now it's uh, now it's up. So they only have a certain. So they number. sold plenty of them. I yeah. guess they did. Yeah. Right. That makes sense. I think they did. That's at 189. Either way, 259 is still an amazing deal. I mean, if you're you're in, right. guess somehow that says markdown from 379. I think it was 189. Though. It was. No, it was. We'll Definitely have to go was. check the archive. We got it on recording. Yeah. You're gonna love it. We're watching you, Amazon. <laughs> no, <laughs> not bad, man. 877-927-6648. Dow. Dow's down eight. Nasdaq is flat. S&Ps are up. Uh, they're flat also. Come right back, folks. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today it's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Okay, we have the paper towel. We got them, man. Now, yeah, this it. might not be a deal, a quote-unquote prime deal of the day, but, yeah, we use these paper towels in the office, man, and they're different. Than, I use them at home, They're not too. the roll, right? right? But, you know, think a little bit out of the quote-unquote box. And they're the type of paper towels that you'd see in a bathroom dispenser or something like that, but just amazing deal. 25 bucks. 
and you got 120 of these per pack, and you get 12 packs of them, man. It's, That's what we use. I mean, yeah. so instead of buying those rolls from Bounty, that can, for, I'm for, sure they're uh, jacking one, up the prices. One 12 pack of Bounty, a big one is 25 bucks. Right, that's a twenty-five, this, sixty-eight. This right, lasts right. forever. And then you know, for a regular family, that literally is a yeah. pack of those a month, and you get one hundred and twenty of them. Seriously, that's four of those every single day for the entire year for twenty-five bucks. Pretty yeah. cool. Uh, jumping around, we did some updates last week when you were gone. World Series of Poker. So they're down to five players out in Vegas, and they will be playing down on ESPN tonight at one point. I believe it's nine p.m. Eastern time. Okay. Uh, so we have. I'm probably going to mispronounce this. Hossein Ensan. He's been crushing it uh and gary gates the two big stacks he's got 207 million the leader 171 over here for gary and uh and then you got three kind of shorter stacks dario sammartino a huge player eight million plus in in earnings this okay. guy here uh gary gates interesting story he actually works for poker stars has for about 10 years he's their liaison to the high rollers so he, oh, really? he, he knows all these guys uh, in terms of the high rollers and in terms of the money they're playing for man we're doing a finance show we're talking about money the winner up top, how about uh, how about eight figures, ten million dollars for wow. a ten for a thousand, uh, ten thousand dollar buy-in. So, in poker, you think of buy-ins. How many buy-ins you win? Well, you win this one. You win a thousand buy-ins of your ten thousand dollar buy-in, uh, and they're all guaranteed two point two million though already. So pretty cool. Those guys, no matter where they finish, man, big number, millionaires. Gotta love it. Stay right there, folks. We got. Um Fast market, Fast man. Fast market, TD Ameritrade. I'm man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. Be back this afternoon. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get him, folks.